Now learn 
this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. The time you share again, I'm to talk from the subject of the story of the fig tree. The story of the fig tree. <laughs> you want to say, what can I learn from this fig tree story? The narrative of the fig tree. What can I learn? Stay with me. We're going somewhere. Go say this name. The story or the narrative of the fig tree. Let's look at verse 32 and break it down. But I'm not going to stay locked into 32, though. Because 32 is an example for us. Mm -hmm. 32 is an example for us. Okay. And help me, God. Yep. And help me, Holy Ghost. He starts off 32 <coughs> with the word now. Mm -hmm. The word now means it is a continuative word. Yeah. It means that it's a word that's a continuation from something else. And he's just saying that it's a, a continuation from verse number 31. And I'm going to put 31. But it's a continuation from 31. Not only is it that, but it means also. So it means something was said beforehand and brings it back to what's said now. Not only that, but it also means that a conjunction word means but. <laughs> but he says, now learn. Learn, 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 learn. Hear me clearly. God, let me take my time with this. He uses the, the, the continuative word now. He also, the second word in the text he uses is the word learn. Mm -hmm. Learn means knowledge. Okay. It also means information. Watch this. Thank you, Lord. You didn't know that just now. Thank you, Lord. Got a quick tweet. This word learn means that you got to be submissive and want to learn. Jesus said, you, you got to have a spirit. You got to have a, a, a learning spirit. Yes, yes. You got you to want to learn. Yes. You got to want it. Okay, there's a word. There's a word. Help me learn. Help, help, us learn. help me learn. Your word. Help me to learn what you're saying. Yes. Give me information yes. that will help me in days to come. Yes. Not only do I want you to help me today, but I want you to help me tomorrow. Yes. Not only do I want you to help me today, but I want you to help me tomorrow and the day yes. after tomorrow. Yes. I need you to help me and yes. inform me every day. Yes. Give me knowledge. Mm -hmm. Give me knowledge. Yes. Give me knowledge. Mm -hmm. He said, he says, now learn this parable. Mm -hmm. Parable. All right. You've been in Sunday school long enough, you ought to know what parable means. Mm -hmm. If you have ever come to Sunday school, you ought to know what parable means. Mm -hmm. Parable means it is a story, mm -hmm. an illustration, or a comparison. Comparing something to something. Amen. <laughs> Let me hang my head here for a moment. What he's doing, Jesus saying, he used to, he said, learn now, learn this parable. Learn, mm -hmm. Understand this parable. Watch it. I'm not gonna tell you to waste your time. Since you watch it, since you came to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you came to me. I didn't come to you, but you came to me. Right. Because you were you were hungry to know when I am going to return. Yeah. And since you have what's it, since you have a teachable, ooh, there you go there. Mm -hmm. since you have a teachable spirit, mm -hmm. boys, mm -hmm. Peter, James, John, and Andrew, since you have a teachable spirit, yes. and since you are hungry to know what you need to know, okay. and how you need to know, mm -hmm. and when you need to know, mm -hmm. sit here. And that's, and that's what he's saying. Trump with me. Trump with me, brother. He says this parable, this comparison between.
between what's it? between spiritual and natural. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Between mm -hmm. spiritual and natural. I'm gonna show you something because right now the fig tree is a natural. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna go to spiritual realm in the moment. The Lord say the same and be in my help. Right now. Watch this. He's comparing the fig tree to you and my spiritual life. I'm going to give you an illustration. I'm going to tell you a story about the fig tree. I'm going to give you a narrative of the fig tree. Watch the rest of it. He says, when it's branch. Notice that it says branches. Because the tree has more than one branch. Yes. But he goes individually, not corporately. Because what he does is for you and I individually, to look at this verse 32 individually, not as a whole group. Because sometimes we look at stuff as a group and we read, we miss out on us. But he's showing here right now, branch. When its branch is already become tender. I need somebody, I'm going to play a right Bible study right quick. I need somebody to get the NIV real quick. You got the device, get it real quick. Somebody get the NIV real quick. Why do this? I want you. I want, I want you to see something from the NIV opposed to King James and the King James. Yeah. There's a word in there in the NIV. I want you to recognize. He says, "When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you see the key. The NIV would say something about uh, uh, sprouts, something like that." Twigs, that's it. Then you'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get it. You're gonna read it in a minute then. Twigs, the twigs, you're gonna see, you're gonna see that the twigs are gonna come out. Have you ever watched in spring how the tree, the, the leaves, the, the bushes and the trees, they have these twigs sprouting? Yes, sir. Yes. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So he's saying, these, these push forth the leaves or the twigs. You know that summer is near. Yeah. So I'm a friend with that. Who's got it on You got to read it loud when you read it. Y'all should go ahead and tap it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Travis. Read it loud, please. You try first? Yes, you try first. Now learn this lesson from oh, oh. Learn this lesson. Learn it. <laughs> I'm, what's it? Jesus, I'm teaching you right now. I'm teaching you right now. I'm giving you an illustration right now. Learn this lesson. Continue. From the fig tree. What's it? Learn from the fig tree. Watch it. You human beings. Learn from the tree. Okay. Open up your mind to learn from the tree. Continue, please. Soon as the twigs get twin tender, soon as the twigs start to burst forth. Go ahead. And his leaves come out. Watch this. Hold on, people further. There has to be twigs before the leaves come. Yeah. 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 It's a process. That's right. Break it down, Mr. Yes. He says this process in the springtime. Because stuff is springing in the springtime. You got the twigs that's gonna break forth. Leaves. Continue. You know that summer is near. You know me that summer. That's the That's the best. Okay. 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 I'm gonna still preach. Preach, preach, preach. I'm gonna cut this thing off. Preach. I'm gonna need this word out. Preach, preach. Well, Kevin and Edward passed away, but my verse is taken up and we'll be here. Yeah. We'll get that in a minute. But, but, but spring, stuff springs out in spring. Twigs come out. And then it turns from twigs to leaves. And then you know that summer is near or not. When the branch, the fig branch puts forth leaves, only a short time remains until summer. Summer is right around the corner. 
Likewise, when the foul labor pain begins, Christ's return is near and is at the door. He's at the door. He uses 32 to show us and to illustrate to us that this fig tree is the way of our spiritual life. You know that this time, summer is close and near mm -hmm. and just around the corner. Yeah. He says, make no mistake. When you see all these manifestations, you see all these things coming, you know that summer is just around the corner or it is close. Yeah. Go to 33. Even so, Go ahead. when you see all these things, Stop right there. Even so, when you see all these things, yeah. when you see all the process, all the things that are happening with the fig tree, and you know that someone's just near or around the corner, he said, notice this. And that's notice the video. You know that it is near right at the door. <sighs> you know that it's near and it's right at the door. When you see this process, when you see these things happening, you know that summer is at the door. At the door. Let's go further. Should recognize that the end of the present age for the world is near. Mm -hmm. At your door. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. It doesn't say they door. Mm -hmm. I told you the brass meant individual. He says it's at your door. He didn't say at that door. He didn't say them door. Which is a bad grammar. But he says at your door. The end of the age, the end of the world is at your door. Right at your door. The story of the fig tree, the time of Christ's coming, will be near when believers see. Watch this. See not just the warrior wars or the famines or the earthquakes or the pestilence or the false teachers or the false crisis or preaching of the gospel to all nations, but on the abundant increase, wait a minute, increase, increase of wars, increase of earthquakes, <laughs> increase of famines, increase of pestilence. We write that in pestilence. Increase, increase. Everybody thought it was over with. Okay, you put your last hand, you get the footy glass hand. You can't do that now. It's on the increase. The numbers are increasing. In this Delta Valley, the numbers are increased. This thing is contagious. It's on the increase. What Jesus is saying, don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. You must stay, you must stay alert. You must say, wow, away because I'm trying to step. I'm trying to tell you something. You need to open your ears in here. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to show you something from the fig tree, the story of the fig tree. I'm trying to show you about your spiritual life, about getting ready. Because I'm on my way back. Watch this. Go ahead and go to 30, 34. Before, first, of all, first of all, before you go to 34, first number 32 was an example. It was an example. 30, 33 was recognition. Recognition. Recognize the things. Verse 34 is distinction. 34 is distinction. Go ahead, please. I tell you the truth. Hold on. I'll tell you the truth. In other words, he said, and it not be, I'm, I'm not telling you a lie. I'm surely telling you the truth. Surely or truly. And we'll read some verses with that. King James says surely. Look at me. King James says surely. I tell you the truth. Go ahead, please. This generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Yes, my God. This generation. Mm -hmm. This race of people. Yes. Because I asked the text a question. What, what, what do you call this generation? It's a race of people. <laughs> the word generation means a race, a kind, a nation, or people. But they interpret to mean the Jews. Yeah. His chosen people. 
His soul, God still has his hand on Israel. He promised Israel he will bless Israel. Yes. Even though Israel doesn't always do what Israel supposed to do, but God still has his hand on Israel. Yes. <laughs> the Jews will still continue to exist. Mm -hmm. Even though other nations and other countries were trying to take them out, they will still exist. Mm -hmm. And they will be a distinct people until the end of the time. Well, look at 35. I'm almost done. Keep going. 35. I call it enduring work. I call 35 enduring work. You got example? 32. You got recognition? 33. You got distinction? 34. You got enduring work in 35. He listen, listen to this. Let me get out of here. Heaven and earth will pass away. Stop for me. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Another way to say, the skies and the earth will be destroyed. Yes. <laughs> Continue. But my word will never pass away. The earth, the sky, all the heavens are going to be destroyed. Well, what's it? You can't destroy my word. There's, what's it? There's power in my word. There's authority in my word. There's a light in my word. There's deliverance in my word. There's healing in my word. And it shall not pass away. It shall not be destroyed. Mm. Watch this. My condition will, will in no case pass away without being fulfilled. Watch this. What I said, what I'm saying, what I'm telling you, it will be fulfilled. Yes. Watch this. I, and this is what he said. I am not a false prophet. Yes. I am the Messiah. Yes. And what I said will come into existence. Yes. Will never pass away unfulfilled. <laughs> the words of Jesus are truth because he is the truth. St. John 14 and 6. All he said had authority of the Father behind it. St. John 14 and 10. Everything, watch this, everything he said had authority with the Father backing him up. And so when he said, he said, I'm not just saying stuff on my own. I'm saying what the Father has given me to say. Yeah. And one case in you know, St. John's God, he said, I can't even wear that of my own accord, but it's my Father who sent me. Yeah. He sent me. Yeah. And I'm walking in obedience. There it is. Yeah. Obedience to you. Yeah. I did God keep praying of obedience. Yeah. You come on Friday, it was about obedience. Yeah. He is serious about obedience. Watch this. <laughs> the words of Jesus are therefore more steadfast, watch this, steadfast. Because your and my words are wishy washy. Yeah, yeah. We are changing the drop of a hat. Because we are fickle people. Come on, y'all. We have not arrived. We are fickle people. And that's why the prayer is going to help me through my fickleness. Me, strengthen me through my fickleness. I need you to help me. Yeah. And so these words are set back. Yeah. Mm. Watch this. They're more enduring than the stars. More steadfast than the earth. No one needs to ever doubt his promises. Yeah. No one needs to ever doubt his promises. Yeah. What he said he will do, he's going to do it. Yeah, that's right, good man. He's going to do it. I got to help right there. He's going to do it. All right, buddy. Verse 36. This is this. 36. I call it only daddy knows. <laughs> only daddy knows. Go ahead and read it, please. No one. 
one knows about that day or hour. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Nobody knows. I told you a few weeks ago. Nobody knows when he's coming. Amen. It says right here in the, in, the, in, the, in the text, verse 36, he said, not even the angels who are in heaven. What's it? Who are, who are sitting beside him, standing by him, with him, don't even know. They haven't got a whisper. They have not got a word. Not even the son has even got a word. He said, he closed it. He said, only the father knows. Uh-huh. Only daddy knows when I'm coming back. Although I'm coming back, but I don't know when I'm coming back. Although I will come on a cloud, but I don't know when I'm coming on a cloud. But one thing I do know, I am coming back. Why? Because daddy said. Yes. Watch this. Thank you, Lord. Y'all tweet. Even though you don't know when he's coming, but you know that he's coming. Yeah. You got to stay assured that the promise that God said is assured and a firm foundation. Yes. Yes. Daddy said. Yes. I said, I'm not going to break what daddy said. No, I'm going to agree with what daddy said. I'm going to wait when daddy does what he does. I'm going to wait on the Lord. Yeah. I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to wait on the Lord. for somebody. You got to stand right there and wait on the Lord. Don't you move to the right. Don't you move to the left. Don't you step back. Don't you step forward. But wait right here until God comes. Yes, you want to have some distraction, but don't be distracted. Yes, you want to have some stuff pop up, but don't you allow it to stop you from waiting on the Lord. Wait, I say, the Lord. Be a good carriage. Wait, I say, the Lord. Watch this. As I'm coming home, only daddy knows the disciples wanted a fixed, precise time. They wanted a time when he's coming back. The people right now don't want to know when he's coming back. They want to know a precise time when Jesus is coming back. But this was not for them to know. Even though they were curious, and even though some people right now today are curious about when Jesus is coming back, but we don't know, he don't know, but all you got to do, watch this, I'll see you in a minute, because something she prayed, something she prayed, just bless my sight because it's in the message, and I'll tell you that in a minute, watch this, they, they, they wanted to know, you and I, some people want to know when he's coming back, Christ emphasizes, this is the way Jesus emphasizes, he emphasizes Instead, um, be steadfast, rather. Mm -hmm. Be steadfast in faithfulness, in watchfulness, mm -hmm. in stewardship, in expectancy, expecting to come, but also be in preparedness. Be when Mr. Travis prayed, she said, Help me be prepared. Yeah. If y'all go listen to the prayer, mm -hmm. that's why it's important to hear the prayer. Yeah. Don't be walking around, don't be moving around. You, you not know prayer is a consecrated place, yeah, yeah, yeah. place to be in, yeah. to where you and the whole body can be in tune with Jesus yeah. in prayer time. Yeah. It's not time to do other stuff. It's yeah. time to be consecrated for whoever's praying, that we all pray and we all in oneness and use it in prayer time. Yeah. Yeah. And, she, and I was with tuned in with her prayer. The, 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 the words, I was just gravitating to the words that God was giving up through the prayer. That to be preparedness. God help me be prepared. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, we see the sign, we see an ox, and as a fig tree in 32, you see the, 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 the twins turn to leaves, and no sun is near, where we see the signs of earthquakes, war, and pestilence, and all this stuff going, and an increase of all this stuff. And it's time for us to be prepared for the coming of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's that time of going around, it's that time of prayer.
day or the hour when the Son of Man is coming. But we do know he's coming. We do know he's coming. And as our better knows, we gotta be prepared. Now, how do you get prepared? I'm going to ask you. I'm not going to leave you with the. I, 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 I don't want to get just hung out there. The way you and I can be prepared, simple. 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 Like ABCs. Simple. It's get in the Word. Now, listen to me. As you get in, as we get in the Word, as we get in the Word, allow what we read to be a part of our life. Yeah. Gravitate. To everything, everything, everything that we read. Don't read out of habit. Listen to me. When you read, ask God, what is in this for me? Yeah. What is this in this for me to make me better? What is it in here to make me stronger? What is it in here to make me closer to you? What is it in here to take off some stuff and put on more of you? What is it in here for me? Secondly, you have to pray. You have to spend some time with God in prayer. Yes, We've been too distracted by stuff in life. And then we get we, we get back at the end of the day and we're gonna pray and we fall asleep. Right. Come on, God. Y'all ain't gonna come asleep. Yeah. 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 I'm going to the boat by myself. Thank you. I'm ready to go on the boat. And so God is trying to get us another. You need to put me first. Not the end and trying to pray with me. Not the end and talk to me. But what's else is going to us? Because we don't talk to God, but then we want God to talk back to us. Right. 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 So you want to do all the talking? Do you not know that this is not a one time, this is not a one way conversation? It's a two way conversation. Yeah. It's a two way conversation. We talk to God. And we allow God to talk back to us. Yeah, yeah. Don't tune him out because he ain't tuning you out. Yeah, yeah. He's kicking him to your prayer. So now God wants us to be kicking to his voice. God is telling us, stop doing that, stop saying that, stop that, that, stop, 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 stop. But we say, no, God, it don't find me. It find me. It find me. It find me. It find me. No, it find you. You and I have got to have a sickness spirit to, the, to God's voice. Hear the voice of God. Yes. It's too late, it's too late to even if you say that, it's too late to even to tune you out and go on your own merry way. Yes. It's dangerous. You tread on dangerous ground because the signs of the time are very prevalent and very visible. Yes. Right there. Yes. You got stuff going in that and that gavel thing. Yeah. Yeah, you want some news? You got people who just jump on planes. Oh, yeah. We're in the end time, we're in the end time. The plane, they're jumping on planes trying to get out of my gap, out of the galaxy. Oh, yeah. They rather risk their life to just get out. Yeah. They're messing with women. Oh, they're abusing women. Yeah. This is the end time, y'all. Yeah. And let me say something personally. I was just so tired of looking at the news. Mm -hmm. yeah. But God said, you didn't get the news. So you know what my word is saying about the news. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm, I'm in between the news. Because I'm seeing what the Bible says is in the news. It's, 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 it's prevalent. You can say you don't want me part of it. Yeah, I, I am too. But, but I got to hear what God is saying through the news. Through what the word is saying. He's heard quick. Last Saturday. At the scale of 7.7 mm -hmm. destroy. You got now you got these hurricanes that are happening, yeah. destroying. You got floods, rain that are destroying. People don't know what to do, don't know how to have ends met. Yeah. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. It's we right here. We right here. Yeah. But we sit here with in these and Zion, don't act like everything or everything is better away. Right? And do you not know that God is just every last one of us? Amen. Hear me. And we can just see the remnants, God will take us hand in hand. He judges everything we say, everything we do. He judges us. And he's a righteous judge. And let me say something. He ain't leaving nothing out. He's not leaving anything out. He is writing it down. Can you get a 
Let me read it. He's writing it out. He's journaling. Mm -hmm. He is journaling what we do, what we say. Yeah. He's journaling. And you know how some of y'all journal? Y'all journal real good. Y'all ain't got nothing on Jesus. His journaling is just superb. Amen. It's precise. Mm -hmm. It's accurate. And I want to ask you something. If Jesus would come today, we can make it in. I'm closing with this. If Jesus come right now, will you make it in? Check yourself. Yeah, y'all put that. The young folks said, check yourself when you wreck yourself. We didn't check ourselves spiritually. Check ourselves because we are, we are, we are a hot mess. We're wrecked. We think we're right, but we're not right. This right here, this book here, puts us in check if we want to be checked. If you want to be checked, if I want to be checked, it's right here in the book. This very Delta. I'm emphasizing this. This very, this very Delta is no joke. You got these knuckleheads walking around and say, I ain't right. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. You stupid. I ain't scared. You stupid. Because you don't care about yourself and you don't care about others around you. This thing is kicking people out. Fast numbers than the first one. These numbers, some of these numbers have passed the old one. If you've been keeping statistics, and watch some statistics around them. Those numbers are escalating higher than the first time. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. This ain't the last one. Catch what I'm telling you. The first one was bad. This Delta is worse. There is coming another one after Delta. We can play around if we want to. We can fool around if we want to. But God is not playing because it takes me back to Exodus. Mm -hmm. Because of the wrong of in Egypt, mm -hmm. God sends plagues. Mm -hmm. He sends plagues mm -hmm. back to back to back yeah. mm -hmm. to get attention. Let me say something. This devil ain't getting a whole lot of people's attention. Mm -hmm. Even though people see the numbers, mm -hmm. they're not doing nothing. They going around not tonight, don't care. This thing is for real. And I want us to be ready when Jesus comes. Jesus wants us to be ready when he comes. Keep watching the signs. We resume next week. He's done and I'm done. The Lord bless you. The story of the fig tree. The example of the fig tree shows us how we ought to live. And how close he is to return like the summer is to the fig tree. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This is our prayer. As we're about to pray, we're going to keep to the Gwen Barnes and our prayers. Uh, talking to her the other day. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. We want to keep her in our prayers. Uh, we want to keep to Lisa's dad in our prayers. We want to keep George Ragland in our prayers as well, and Sister Cassandra uh, Russell as well, uh, brother, uh, brother Russell as well, and Sister Cassandra Russell, Russell as well. Keep them in our prayers. Are there any other prayer requests? Sister Joyce's sister-in-law is in hospice. Really? Yeah, she went to Dayton today. I talked to her yesterday. Okay. So she's going to back to back time. It's back to back time. You gotta keep her lifted. Let me say this: keep her lifted, keep her encouraged. She lost her ex-husband, which is her a soul line. Now it's her sister-in-law. It's in hospice. This stuff can take her soul mentally as well as physically. Let me say this: what gives you the Lord? This, 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 this pandemic has a lot of people in depression. And not only it has church people who are in depression. We need to pray. Amen. It is praying time, brothers and sisters, because people are in depression and oppressed, depressed, and all that stuff going on. Because all the stuff that's going on in their life, life ain't easy. No, it ain't. It's rough. It's tough. 
So let's get into prayer. Yes, ma'am. Well, Stephen is telling Paul's ex for prayer. Okay. Okay. Well, praise on her as well. Anyone else? Blessings you have stored upon us, and even what you are yet to do. We thank you, God. Yes. Help us, God, yes. to draw nigh to you. As we draw nigh to you, you draw nigh to us. Help us to God in the name of Jesus. We need your help. We need your strength. We need your guidance. God, help us. Help us, God. We individually need your help. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray, Lord, that you would just bless all of those who we come before you with the names we brought before us, God. Bless and you to touch to the Gwen Barnes. Could you touch her body with your mighty hand of healing from the top of her head to the sole of her feet? Touch her in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to do. We thank you. And God, I pray, God, you bless. Also, we bless to the Lisa's dad. We pray, God, you bless that leg to heal and mend properly, God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, we pray, God, you bless to George Lamb. God, give her comfort and give her strength, God. You reach where no can reach. You touch where no can touch. You do, God, as only you can do. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless and touch her sister longer. Touch her by your mighty hand of healing from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, God. I pray, God, you bless bereaved families everywhere. Give comfort. Give strength. You reach where no can reach. You touch where no can touch. You do as only you can do. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. You bless the park, Peter's parks. Yes. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing from the top of her head to the soul of feet. God, move up every ache, every pain, every discomfort. Move out every yes, discomfort, God. And touch her body yes. with your mighty hand of healing from the top of her head to the soul of her feet, God. God, I pray you bless God. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Freeman's dad and stepmom. God, touch their body with your mighty hand of healing. Touch from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Touch in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. God, I pray you touch by your sister, son, the Russell, and brother Russell. Touch their bodies with your mighty hand of healing, God. We pray healing. We pray strength be upon their bodies, God. Bless them in a mighty and an abundant way, God. Oh, God, I pray, God, that you'll bless all that ask for prayer. Name by name and one by one, God. You touch and move by your mighty hand. And your mighty power. Touch and do God. And I pray God that you just bless. Oh God, we your people. Be more mindful of your return. Be more mindful. Uh, uh, alert of your return. In the name of Jesus. These blessings we ask. In Jesus' mighty and awesome name we pray. And we thank you for your glory. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. This is our prayer. May God ever have his hands of blessings. Be upon you, the people of God. May you be strengthened, be encouraged. May you have a great rest of the day. Have a blessed week. God just holds you in the hollow of his hand. Pray for these persons that don't look prayerless. Keep them lifted. Keep them lifted in your prayers. The Lord will continue to bless them and strengthen them. The God was blessed mighty hand of the name. We thank God for you. May you have a great rest of the day. May you have a blessed week. God's blessings be upon you, the people of God. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of the only one God our Savior, be glory and mercy and dominion and power both now and forever. And the people of God 
spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you in the hands of Sister Divine Spirit. She directs you now.